This lesson is going to be over input output tables. Well, the definition of an input output table is the same as a function. So a function is a relation in which no two ordered pairs have the same first coordinate. And an input output table is just where you're going to find um, certain rules and values that um, correspond to different rules. So this is a very simple input output table. Um, if we're looking here, um, it just says that if you input 28, 42, and 57, what are you going to get out? Well, in this case, it tells us our rule. And it tells me that my rule is 3. So it tells me that my rule is 3. And so because my rule is 3, I'm going to add 3 to each one of these. So 28 plus 3 is 31. 42 plus 3 is 45. And 57 plus 3 is 60. So my outputs would be, or my coordinates would be 28, 31. 42, 45, and 57, 60. Here's another example. Here we need to find the rule. So 36 to 6, 48 to 18, 66 to 36, and 29 to negative 1. So to figure this out, we first, I just start by addition and subtraction. So 36 minus 6 is um, you take away 30. 48 minus 18, you take away 30. 66 minus 36, you take away 30. And this is take away 30. So our rule is subtract 30. All right, now look at these input output tables. All right, let's find the rule. So we have, um, our, as you can see, our x's are just going up by 1's, and our y's are going up by different amounts. So we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So to get from 3 to 6, you're going to add 3. 6 to 9, add 3. 9 to 12, add 3. And 12 to 15, add 3. So our rule is plus 3. The next one. You see y is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That one's very simple. We're going to add 5. Now, what if I was given, you were given these tables and then set, asked, what is y when x is 2? Well, over here, our x is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And our y is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, what happens if it's 4, 3, 2? What if we want to go up this way? Well, if this is just going up by ones, if it's going, if you're adding going this way, you're going to subtract going that way. So one, that'd be negative one, negative two, negative three. So it'd be two, negative three. How about this one when x is six? Well, we stopped at four, so we have to go five, six, two, one, zero, one, two. So plus 2, plus 1, 0. Negative 1, negative 2, oh, negative 3, negative 4. So it would be 6, negative 4. Hopefully this has helped you understand input output tables a little bit better. If you still have questions, ask your teacher.